This presentation, Cancer Staging, is sponsored by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. During this presentation, we will define the concept of staging cancer and the methods in which cancer spreads. The purpose of staging will be discussed. We will also identify different staging sources and review the major staging systems used by most cancer registrars. To understand cancer staging, we first need to review the disease process of cancer. Cancer originates in a single cell somewhere in the body. That cell divides and grows into the organ of origin, called the primary site, causing a localized tumor. Cancer cells can then spread to adjacent tissues, organs, or the lymph nodes. Cancer cells also travel through the lymphatic drainage system and lymphatic walls into a lymphatic vessels and then advance to distant organs or structures. Lymphatic vessels are capillaries and vessels that collect lymph from the tissues and carry it to the bloodstream. Cancer can also spread directly from the organ of origin through the bloodstream to distant organs without involving adjacent organs and or regional lymph nodes. Cancer cells are carried through the blood vessels within the primary tumor. Veins are more susceptible to invasion than thicker walled arteries allowing tumor cells to be transported through the bloodstream to another part of the body. This process is called bloodborne metastases. Staging is a common language developed by medical professionals to share information with each other about the extent of a patient's cancer. Staging has evolved over many years and several different organizations have developed different staging systems. Staging is a way to describe the severity of an individual's cancer based on the extent of the patient's cancer. Codes convey a detailed description of how far the tumor has spread from the primary site. There are several reasons for staging cancer cases. It helps the physician assess the extent of the cancer and determine the most appropriate treatment for the patient. Treatment may cure the cancer, decrease the tumor burden by making it smaller, or relieve symptoms. Once the staging work has been completed, the prognosis of the cancer can be estimated for that individual patient. Staging also allows facilities to compare local treatment results with national data. Many sources within the medical record are used to determine the extent of a person's cancer. Physical exam of the patient, radiological imaging such as CTs, mammograms, ultrasounds, MRIs, and PET scans, endoscopic procedures such as the colonoscopy, bronchoscopy, cystoscopy, and esophoscopy. Pathology reports of tissue that is biopsied or resected and examined by a pathologist. The most common and accurate way to diagnose cancer is by microscopic examination of the tissue. There are many methods of pathologic examination. Needle biopsy, when a core of tissue is taken from the tumor. Fine needle aspirate or FNA, the removal of cytology or fluid from the tumor. Incisional biopsy, a portion of the tumor is cut out. Excision biopsy, a resection of the whole tumor. Bone marrow biopsy, tissue is removed from the bone, surgical resection, removal of the primary site of cancer and usually includes the regional lymph nodes as well. The pathology report is the most important resource needed for staging. The pathology report states where the primary tumor is, its size, histological type, grade of tumor, or how closely the cells resemble the normal tissue in which the tumor originated, extent of the cancer microscopically, how many lymph nodes have been removed and examined, and how many lymph nodes are positive for cancer. The pathology report also includes information on any biopsies or resections of distant sites done at the time of surgery or diagnostic workup. Even though the pathology reports are the most important and definitive information of a cancer, sometimes we must also rely on imaging studies and the surgeon's operative report in order to stage a cancer. The major staging systems used by most cancer registrars are SEER summary stage and AJCC cancer staging. SEER summary stage has six main categories, in situ, localized, regional, distant, 
We will discuss these four categories in a moment. Then there is the benign borderline category, which is used to summary stage benign and borderline neoplasms for the brain, intracranial glands, and other CNS tumors. And the final category is unknown. This is when there is insufficient evidence to adequately summary stage the tumor. In situ means in place. In situ is the presence of malignant cells that do not penetrate the basement membrane of the tissue and has no stromal invasion. The stroma is the connective tissue of an organ, gland, or other structure. A localized cancer is a malignancy limited to the organ of origin. It has spread no farther than the organ in which it started. There is invasion past the basement membrane of the epithelium into the functional part of the organ, but there is no spread beyond the boundaries of the organ. Regional stage is tumor extension beyond the limits of the organ of origin. Regional stage has several subcategories which describe the different methods of regional spread of tumor. These methods of spread are regional by direct extension only, when there is invasion through the entire wall of the organ into surrounding organs and or adjacent tissues, regional lymph node only, when there is a tumor invasion of the lymphatic walls where tumor cells have traveled through lymphatic vessels to nearby lymph nodes. Here they are filtered out and begin to grow in the nodes or regional by both direct extension and lymph node involvement where there is both invasion beyond the organ of origin and regional lymph nodes positive for cancer. Distant stage or distant metastases occurs when tumor cells have broken away from the primary tumor, have traveled to other parts of the body, and have begun to grow a new location or organ. To develop distant stage, cancer cells can travel from the primary site in four ways. One, extension from the primary organ beyond adjacent tissue into the next organ. For example, from the lung through the pleura into the bone or nerve. Two, travel in lymph channels beyond the regional drainage area. Tumor cells can be filtered, trapped, and grow in lymph nodes in the body, including non-regional lymph nodes, which are considered distant lymph nodes. Three, hematogenous, or bloodborne metastasis, is the invasion of blood vessels within the primary tumor, allowing tumor cells to escape and travel through the bloodstream to another part of the body where they lodge in a capillary. And four, distant stage can spread through fluids in the body cavity. For example, malignant cells rupture the surface of the primary tumor and are released into the thoracic or peritoneal cavity. The cells float in the fluid and can land on and grow on any tissue. This type of spread is also called implantation or seeding metastases. For AJCC cancer staging, the classification components include T, N, M, and stage group. T represents the primary tumor, designating the size and or invasion of the tumor. N represents regional lymph nodes, designating the presence or absence of tumor in the regional lymph nodes. M represents distant metastasis, designating the presence or absence of tumor of distant metastases. With this information, a stage group is assigned using a table developed for each cancer site. For some cancer sites, the grade of the tumor and other prognostic factors are also taken into consideration when assigning the AJCC stage group. In summary, there are many sources within the medical record that must be used to determine the stage of a patient's cancer. Patient treatment is based on the stage or extent of the cancer. We learn the major staging systems used in the cancer registry are the SEER summary stage and AJCC cancer staging. The prognosis for individual patients can be estimated using the stage of cancer. The stage of cancer is also used when analyzing the end results, survival, and outcomes of cancer. To learn how to assign the SEER summary and AJCC stage to cases, please go to the staging activities that are available. Thank you. This presentation is brought to you by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. For more information on the Education Foundation, 
go to www.ncraeducationfoundation.org. For more information on the cancer registry profession, go to the NCRA website at www.ncra-usa.org.